It's Thursday and it's news day for crude oil. Um, I actually, I have to admit that I forgot that EIA, uh, or excuse me, API uh, news was going to come out uh, after hours uh, for North America yesterday. And uh, it surprised me, and I'm sure quite a few people, that uh, it was bullish. Um, it predicted a large build in inventories, um, or I should say a, um, a a, a large draw in inventories, um, which is bullish. Um, and as you can see here at 4.30, um, although we did drop momentarily, um, we've shot up about 1.5% um, from the lows, uh, which were near 45 at yesterday's close in North America. So um, right now we're sitting at about 45.84. We've gone um, as high as 45.90-ish um, and approaching 46. So the big question is, of course, um, will EIA inventory news confirm what the API news um, suggested yesterday? And we're going to find out at 11 a.m. Eastern. So kind of my feeling on where we are right now, um, kind of 45, 46 area is 45 may end up being the middle of our new range. So you'll remember that I talked about um, if we look at the um, one day chart here, this kind of wave pattern and a lot of people are anticipating kind of a repeat of this wave sending us back up to you know maybe as high as 50 or so um, before we turn the corner and my feeling is that we're going to turn the corner before then. I don't, you know, I'd like to see that the corner has been turned already but you know maybe I'm wrong and we go to um, 48 before we turn that corner um, which might happen today as a matter of fact. So we, we will see um, how that actually develops, but my, my feeling is that 45 may end up being the middle of our new range um, that we are presently defining. So for example, if you imagine kind of a, a new range similar to what we had prior to March, developing around um, between let's say 47 or 48 and uh, 42 maybe, um, kind of we're gonna bounce around this area for, for the summer. That's my gut feeling. So that being said, if I flip back to the 30 minute chart here, um, going long or short at this sort of price, I don't think you can really go too wrong. Um, so, I mean, it's basically 50-50 what happens after 11 a.m. today. Um, and, and anybody who tells you that they, they, they know is just, you know, BSing you. But um, I don't think, you know, long term, if you're, and by long, I don't even mean that long. If, if your horizon is at least a few weeks, um, I think no matter what you choose, whether it's long or short, um, I think it, it's, it's going to prove profitable. Um, I think your chances of profiting are better if, we, if you go short, um, simply because if we go, uh, if you go long here and we end up dropping, I think we're going to drop quite a bit before we climb back up. Um, so I think you're going to have to be more patient by going long at this price um, for now than short. But you know that's the contrarian me. So if you guys are more of a momentum players, then um, get on for the ride and keep, and uh, and maybe we'll see 48. Maybe we'll even see 49 today. Um, my portfolio is basically hedged right now, which you can see in detail over on TradingJournal.ca. Um, I have a slight bias, um, maybe it's kind of 40, 40%, 60% bias towards the bearish side. Um, so I, I'm in favor, I'm more in favor of a drop than I am of a climb. Um, that being said, if we do spike on news, I have a long position from 47, which would become profitable if we hit, for example, 48, uh, I'd be looking to probably exit that position. Um, if we go higher than 48, I would probably be tempted to sell my entire long position um, with, where it kind of averages out at about 48.80 um, to 49, somewhere in there. So that's kind of what I'm anticipating. Um, if we drop, then you know it's just a patience play. Um, if we happen to drop, which I don't think is going to happen anymore because we're right now we're at uh, about a quarter to 9 a.m. So it's still 45 minutes before trading. I don't expect a big move at this point now, but if we do happen to drop before news, I would add to my long positions. Um, 
if we go much higher, I'll repurchase the short that we sold yesterday for that wonderful profit. Um, as far as what happens after news, if we spike up on news, uh, like I said, I'll be looking to exit at least one position, if not two, depending on how high we go. If we tank, I'm really just going to be try to be patient um, because I think if we tank, then that really defines that, that turning point in this pattern. So if I zoom out here, um, let's go to a, a one hour chart, if that enough. Yeah, so if, let's go four hours. So as you can see, we've been climbing for the better part of two weeks and yesterday's drop was the first kind of uh, kink in that armor. So I'm not terribly surprised by this bullishness, um, but you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not prepared to go long to try to get on, on for this momentum ride, if that's what it is. Uh, but I, I think that this is the corner that we've turned yesterday and there's just a lot of resistance to accepting that reality. That's my feeling. I've been wrong many times, so take it for what it's, what it's worth. But uh, that's, my, that's my feeling. I think that people are anticipating us to climb much higher than we are now, and I think they're gonna be disappointed. I think we're going to see 42 before we see 50. Um, I guess we'll find out uh, later today. So I'd love to hear what you guys have planned. Uh, shoot me a comment down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more details on the portfolio and trades. Uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned. I'll check back with you guys after trading near 4 o'clock Eastern. Cheers and good luck.